All right, what is going on, guys? Um, <clears throat> so many of you guys are in local SEO, so this might be very relevant to you guys. I recently found a tool via, I think, the advice community. Guys, okay. <laughs> Anyways, this, this tool, what it does is it creates 300 citations in a single click. And uh, how much does it cost? I think it's like 50 bucks per month. Um, and it's like $300 per month if you want to have like unlimited locations. And what it does is it, they have like a network of 300 uh, directory sites. And once you click publish, it just goes live on all 300 sites. <clears throat> and anytime you have to change certain things, you just do it. So 300 citations is most of the time enough to get you ranked in just about any city in North America plus the UK. So I was very interested in this. So naturally, I'm testing it out right now. But let's go over the service today. Um, so keep watching if you're interested in seeing the tool I'm testing. But yeah, let's uh, eat some creatine and report the numbers from the day before. Oh boy. So... <clears throat> Accidentally fell asleep at like 9 p.m. yesterday. I don't know if you guys have ever done that. It's terrible. I woke up at like 2 a.m. Couldn't go back to sleep. Feels pretty bad. So here we go. <clears throat> All right, let's go. So yesterday we did, oh wow, this is a lot, 3.9K in total revenue. That's up $700 from the day before. <clears throat> oh yeah, yesterday, Sunday, that's why. Sunday, as you guys know, always a banger. 1.8K from Amazon, Mediavine at a week 114. Let's scratch this little gunk off my screen. And OnlyFans coming in at 2K, pretty good day. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not much to say about it. Let's take a look at the granular numbers. All right, um, quick CTA. Can you comment citations for the YouTube algorithm? For the people who are asking if the comments actually work, they fully work. So if you, I think if you search AppSumo either on Google or YouTube, I think my video a couple days ago come up like pretty high. So let me know if I'm wrong. Cool. All right, so yesterday, as you can see here, 33.6K in order revenue, pretty damn solid. Um, not much to say, it's just a Sunday, right? Uh, let's check last 30 days if I'm missing anything. So that would be minus three, would be 16. Last Sunday wasn't even that great. I think there was a holiday, so I think it was the Monday before that did well. Um, but yeah, we're, we're on the come up. I think it's like a... No, it's not even a 30-day high. It's like right in the middle of the pack. Anyways, um, we'll keep you guys posted, of course, as always. And Levanta coming in at a solid 174.65. Um, decent, decent. But yeah, let's talk about today's episode. All right, so if you want to go into today's episode, um, it's episode 224. Sign for the first link in the description. You get sent this reference sheet. If you've signed up in the past and haven't received it, um, go into the first email you received from marketing letter and that's how you get it. Um, getting a lot of DMs like, yo, Jackie, I can't find the reference sheet. And I check my ConvertKit account. We sent it to you before you opened it. You just didn't bookmark it. So remember to bookmark this page. Anyways, episode 224. The episode today is about Citation Vault. All right, I had the idea of creating something similar. I uh, never did because too lazy. Uh, what it does is... it. It creates 300 citations after you fill out your details, all with like schema markup. Um, and yeah, I think it's pretty interesting. Only thing I don't like about it is it creates do follow links. I like, I'd like to see an option where it's no follow or just a naked link. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, let's look at the tool. So um, when you go to add new location, as you can see, I, I, I didn't secret shop this, it's whatever, because I think they have the same product for across the site. 
you just in, uh, add in your name, address, phone number, plus uh, URL, business phone number, category, so on and so forth. And then it just creates it. It's pretty simple. Uh, I created it, I believe, an hour ago. I still haven't received my citations. I don't know where to find it. So if you guys have used Citation Vault in the past, let me know where to find it. All right. Um, and it is confirmed that they own 300 of the directories and it's not like, it's like a citation PBN. They claim it's not a PBN, but guys, come on. It's, it's just fine. All right. If you don't want to say it's a PBN, it's not sure. Um, what else? They go through like the importance of everything that you wanted to add here. Uh, how much does it cost? It's $49 per for one location or $300 for like unlimited. Um, what else? Yeah. So I think this is pretty interesting. Is it a bit too expensive compared to other citation services like the $5 for 50 citations? Yes. Yes. I think just full stop it's more expensive, but then this gives you just more targets, right? So with Kevin's PBN, you get maybe 300 unique domains uh, citation as well. Um, with the Fiverr guide that I use, it's $5 for 50 citations. And then if you use citation well, on top of it, you're at like, I think maybe a total of like, six, 700 total citations. And then you run that through an indexer and you should be able in theory to dominate just about anywhere. I think jury's still out. I think, okay. So I've, I, the one citation they created for me, I'm not going to show you cause it will reveal, I don't know. Google's probably watching this, uh, clapping will most likely happen, but Risk here is it's actually a do follow link. So I have to be careful with like what I'm posting here. So I have to like, I'm like actively being careful here. Um, I'm running this as an experiment for your guys' sake. I will keep you guys posted in regards to performance of ranking after the citations go live. And yeah, I guess my initial thoughts are recorded in this video. It could, I think it should most likely work. Um, my issue is probably a lot of the citations won't get indexed, but I'll run it through the telegram indexer, which I tested out to be the best. Um, what else should I, would I tier this with Kevin's PBN? No, because if they own all 300 of these directories, you tier them, it kind of ruins it for everyone else. I'm guessing it's ruined already, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll test it out. I'll, I'll let you guys know. If you guys appreciate stuff like this, please comment citations for the YouTube algorithm. Plus, like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, let's answer some questions from the day before. All right, let me smash through these questions. Very grateful for you taking the hit for science. You're welcome. Thanks for the input. That's much appreciated when it comes to CTR. Thank you. Can we CTR same state for the creatine mess? <laughs> Come on, man. I used two phones with 5G for CTR manipulation. Do it manually because it's only one click a day. It's been a month. Ranking ramp is now position 12 using the same strategy. Keep you updated. All of this to say you don't need to pay for software. Just do it in 5G in airplane mode. Eh. I think... Um, Position 12 is pretty good, I guess. One click per day. Yeah. I have been asking people to, when they visit to, or like visit a certain vicinity to type in the GMB name and then drive there. And that helps a lot. I just asked my friends to do it. And yeah, so it's true. It helps. But then if you pay for software, you don't have to beg like 30 friends a day. You know what I mean? It's, it's just done for you. So it really depends on how much you value your time. CDR software, what's going on, Marcus? How long has this guy been? Subscribe for a year. Let's go. I use Palmer's citation building service. It's affordable, but it's crap if you have specific instructions. They just blast it. So if you don't care, 
want your nap, it's okay, but it won't index anyways. Yep. Chris Palmer's citations service is used, uh, used to work, or Chris Palmer's service used to work amazingly until March. Now it's all messed up. Probably too many clients. I don't know. Maybe he's too popping. I don't know. Um, I hope it doesn't ruin his business though. I hope this is more of like a, hey, I got to step up my, just get your VAs to respond to the emails. Isn't that easy? Um, CTR, how long do you recommend using CTR software for once you get to ranking top? Do you continue using CTR software on the site? I think so. Why not? Um, it doesn't cost much. So I think for the keywords that are uh, top three, I tend to just like slow down the CTR. Does that make sense? So instead of maybe it's 10 a day before you could turn that shit down to like one a day, right? Just take it easy. Anyways, um, that's all the time I have for today, guys. Never skip. All right. Uh, that's it, I guess. See you guys tomorrow. And if you guys have any questions at all, drop them in the comment section below and I'll get to them tomorrow. Um, take it easy, guys. Have a good Monday.